Today we're back in Kerbal Space Program 2 and our goal for today is to create the smallest plane possible that can still take off with a Kerbal on it. Perfect name. That's our campaign name and then our agency name. We make small planes. Okay, wait, we need like a plain one to go on here. Are there any plain ones? There's not. We'll do trees. And then our colors. We do... What kind of color planes do we make? We make blue... No, no, we make white and blue planes. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. So we do want a Kerbal. We don't want to use a Pro because I want to like have the Kerbal there. So what's the smallest pod we can use? We want like, oh, cockpit. This one is the smallest. Oh, wait, we can use, we could use this Rover seat and just have like the Kerbal sitting on top of the plane. So let's do that. So let's get our, the smallest methane tank that we can. Okay, here we go. Methane methane um i don't know let's try three and then we're gonna want an air intake right it looks like it's gonna be like a jet and then the smallest jet engine that we have okay and then let's put some wings on it oh my gosh they're huge okay let's we can use the i do like the procedural wing generation so we can kind of adjust it better um, but we're gonna want our root length to be a lot smaller do you think that'll fly that could fly that could definitely work okay and now let's put the kerbal seat on top for the control um what in the middle okay let's check our center of mass and our center of uh so i think we want our center of mass to be slightly in front of the center of lift if i remember correctly so that means we want our center of mass more forward. So we'll bring our wing angle up. Or we bring our wings back more. Okay, try that. Okay, yeah, like that. Center of lift is right behind the center of mass. I think that's what we want. Okay, so now what? We need wheels? This is the smallest landing gear that we can use. So like that, and then I guess we put them on the wings too? Oh, not like that. <laughs> like that, but then let's bring up the wheel here so they're all sitting at like the same plane okay um i thought we made our colors blue and white white and blue boom look at that that's beautiful okay um let's save it and i guess we'll go for it okay here goes bill sitting on this <laughs> it's basically just a jet engine that we put wings on okay let's go first try let's do it Okay, looks okay. Take off. Speed up a little more. Lift, lift. Come on. Ah, oh yes. No way, it works. First try. That looks awesome. Okay, um, we didn't add any fins on the back, so it doesn't turn very well. But this looks like it works great. Let's see if we can land it. Land it back down. Oh, those, these wheels don't have any brakes. I think they're only made to be like the front wheel, but we use them for all three. Oh yeah, I can't turn it at all. We need like the control surface fins. But let's see if we can land it. Come on, Bill, we got this. Me and you together. Ah! Oh, oh, beautiful. Wait. Okay, I can't really slow down. There's no brakes. But that counts as a landing, I think. Let's see if we can make it through the the bridge area over here, even without being able to turn. Come on, take off, take off, lift, lift. The trees are coming, Bill. Lift. No. Through the trees, through the trees. Oh, no way. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, wait, let's make it under this bridge area. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We'll have to, we'll do a wrap around. It's so hard to control without any more control services. Uh oh, Bill, no, Bill. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if that worked, we could probably make it smaller, right? Okay, let's redesign. So let's see if we can get it to launch with just two. So let's add an intake and a jet engine. Okay, and then wings again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the small wings. Okay, we need to change our root length. Okay, tell me that's not like the cutest thing in the world. Okay, center of mass, center of lift. Okay, it's slightly behind, that's perfect. And then we want our cockpit or our little rover seat. It's not even made for planes. In the middle here. Okay, and then let's get some wheels. 
Okay, what if we did... We do two here and one in the front so we don't have to put it on the wings. Yes, beautiful. Now, I do want to be able to turn it, so I think we need to put some more wings on the back. Like this, so we need these on here. See, now it looks like a dart. Look at that. That's like a full-on plane now. Okay, this one's gotta, gotta be able to turn better, right? And it's smaller, so let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, come on, Bill. Uh, you're on your little... Oh, it's like... Oh, what is happening? Well, we'll go for it. Okay. See if it takes off. Oh, oh, it's tilting. Ah, that's bad. <laughs> we need more stability. I think we go for... <gasps> Whoa, look, it totally will take off if we can get it to work. Okay, revert to VAP. Okay, I don't know why it keeps rolling backwards, but let's, let's try it. Okay, it looks more stable. Let's see if we can get it to take off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Take off, take off, please, please. Yes, yes. Wait, 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 we're going. Kind of, uh-oh. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna retry that launch. Okay, attempt three with this plane. I don't like the landing gear. I wish we didn't have to use it. I'm gonna turn SAS off because I know that makes it wobbly. Uh-oh, okay, okay. No! Ah! Okay, there's gotta be a way to make it more stable on launch. What if we make detachable landing gear? We use these bigger ones that we don't need to be that big, but it'll definitely help with the launch. But if we surround, okay, I have an idea. If we put them here. Here. And on the very back too. Okay, I don't know about this, but theoretically, these should be able to break off when I want them to. And then just the plane will fly. Let's try it. Uh oh, that's well, that's not good. Go. Let's just see what happens. Break off. <gasps> yes. Wait, it worked. The plane worked. OK, well, now I think the plane has some issues because this is very hard to fly. Uh. <laughs> It worked. It kind of worked the way I wanted it to. Okay, um, I think maybe it's better if we only have one fin on the back and have bigger regular wings to generate more lift and stability. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these two to help with the steering. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, wait, that's a little bit too big. Okay, that should be good like that. And then if we don't have those side ones, we can actually make these longer. Okay, here we go. Mark three. I don't know. I don't know what we're at. We got the um, break off landing gear. Okay, it looks like the center of mass is more back now. We're going for it still. Okay, we'll see if this works more. Uh oh. Break off! Crap. One more try on the launch. Okay, we're gonna try this launch one more time and then see... Oh, I did not mean... Oh, I didn't mean to break that off. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Does it? I don't think... There's no way we could get going fast enough. Oh my, wait, is this gonna work? We're speeding up. Don't hit that light. Ah! Okay, let's not break off the landing gear this time. Okay. Um, the SAS makes stuff wobbly, so I'm not going to use it. Break off. Why is it better with the landing gear? It's like, <laughs> it looked like it was working. And then as soon as I broke the landing gear off, it just nosedived. So let's try keeping the landing gear on and see what happens. Why are you diving this time? Take off. No, Bill. Oh my. What is this that we have left? It's like an ant. Okay, I think we're thinking about this too much. All you need for a plane to fly is wings. Starting from scratch one more time. Okay, this, this has to fly just like this. But how do we... Okay, we're adding landing gear. Permanent landing gear again because that seemed to work last time. 
This is all we need. This is the smallest plane we can make, I believe. This has to work, right? Literally the perfect design. I see nothing wrong with this. This has to work. I told you, this is beautiful. That's all you need. You don't need to worry about those tail fins. You just add wings to a freaking jet engine. Okay, now we see how well it really works. Let's go and try and land on the island airstrip over here. There's actually um, a landing runway over here on this island, just like in KSP-1. Um, it looks like we have 31,000 Delta V. This plane could fly for a long time. Approaching the airstrip. We do have no brakes, so once we land, we kind of just have to, I don't even know, just roll. So I'm gonna cut the engines now. Oh, I think I may have cut them too late. We need to like slow down, stall it out real quick. Okay, here we go, Bill. Oh, when it when you're going slow, it has like no control. I think I need to go a little bit more boost. Well, it looks like we're gonna land in the grass. Uh oh. Come on, Bill, you got it. No. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave suggestions for more things to do in KSP in the comments down below. If you create a smaller plane that works, put it on my Discord and tag me so I can see. Thank you again for 100,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time.